Hello everyone, Giltar here with a sneak peek at a few things I've just received today. And these things are products I plan to review in the near or at least foreseeable future. Uh, I don't often do these types of videos because I've expressed in the past I'm not a big fan of haul videos and unboxing videos, even though I have done them from time to time. Um, the reason why I normally don't do them is just personally, I'm more interested in, in doing videos uh, that are revolved around reviewing products or other types of videos that involve like starting discussion points. However, I've never had anyone mention to me that they didn't like unboxing or sort of haul videos. Uh, in fact, a lot of people have expressed to me that they actually enjoy them and want to see more of them. So to indulge that sort of request by a lot of people, I plan on doing more of these types of uh, haul videos on at least a semi-regular basis. Um, and also another reason why I want to start doing them a little more frequently is because I'm not able to review uh, figures and products and other things as as often as I would like. So to keep my channel hopefully a little more active, uh, I'm going to show you guys what I've received recently or even over the past year, which I've been fairly inactive. I received a lot of different model kits, toys and, and whatnot. And uh, from time to time, actually on a regular basis, people will ask me about whether or not I have either purchased certain things or plan to purchase them or if I have purchased them, will I review them? Um, and so to, to give you guys more, I guess, insight into, again, possible plans for, for reviewing things, I'm going to do more sort of, I guess, you know, here's what I got in the mail type of videos. So for the first uh, item I received today, it's the SIC Kwame Tamashi uh, Machine Tornado figure, which is very nice. As usual with the uh, Kwame Tamashi line, uh, sharp, uh, sharply molded, sculpted details on the product. Um, no issues with paint application as far as I can see. Uh, now the Machine Tornado uh, vehicle here is uh, meant to be paired up with SIC Kwame Tamashi uh, Kamen Rider Agito, uh, which I also have. Uh, very nice figure. I also have the volume 40 of the sort of the normal quote unquote normal SIC uh, product line figure set of Machine Tornader and uh, Kamen Rider Agito, which is a very nice figure set. I've mentioned it before and it's sort of, I guess, semi or common knowledge, I guess, about SIC in that uh, the uh, volume 40 or the number 40 uh, uh, offering of the product line, which is again, Machine Tornader and Kamen Rider Agito. Um, is, is around the time where the figure line really started to improve the overall quality of the product. Uh, now, there was nothing wrong with terms of like the overall quality before. It's just that a lot of people found them to either be lacking somewhat in articulation or they, they've had issues with fragility of certain parts of the figures. Uh, volume 40 is where things seem to be in, in a, sort of in a good step up in evolution in terms of design, quality control, and everything else. So I'm very excited to see how the uh, Kiwami Tamashi version of uh, Kamen Rider Agito and Machine Tornado uh, sort of compare to their normal sized or larger sized uh, counterparts. Second item up is the uh, Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy, I think, is it Final Fantasy twelve um, character uh, Gabranth? A very nice looking figure. And I'm not a big fan of the Final Fantasy uh, figures from Play Arts Kai. It's just something about the, the, the sculpting just really doesn't appeal to me. And I find that the paint applications for some of them are kind of lacking. However, Gibranth here is uh, just a fantastic looking figure. And I really like how it, the design of the character's armor is is obviously inspired by real world armor in our own history. I'm a big sort of armor and weapons and, and warfare and tactics uh, and strategy sort of uh, buff, I guess, uh, enthusiast. And uh, one of the things I really like is just the design of uh, armors from our past of, of all different cultures, but especially uh, European style. But um, yeah, it looks great. Uh, it's got some nice accessories. And I may have to start playing Final Fantasy XII just to find out more about this character and more about the designs in the game because I really like how this this character design um, comes across. Now, even though I said earlier that uh, I'm not a big fan of the Final Fantasy Play Arts Kai figures, I do have to admit that this Cloud Strife figure up here looks really nice. And I do recall um, 
that Versa Z reviewed one of the versions of the Play Arts Cloud Strife figures, uh, probably a, a year or two ago, something like that. And the thing with the Cloud Strife figure here is that I believe it has several iterations. There's like the normal game design version, then there's one from the Advent Children movie, that design. Uh, there's one that comes, or a couple that comes with like um, the motorcycles that Cloud drives, or rather pilots or whatever in the uh, in both the video game and in the Advent Children movie. So uh, yeah, there are very several incarnations of that figure. I don't know if they're all resculpts or entirely different versions, but I knew I know a couple of them are just basically repaints and with slightly slight modifications like retools to the sculpt. Um, so I might have to pick up one of the Cloud Strife figures in the future because I, I do like the design of the characters. So uh, I may I may pick one up uh, at some point. And for the final item, it's something that is uh, fairly tall. So I'm going to have to sort of show you guys sideways <laughs> what it is. And basically, it's the Metal Build uh, O-Riser and GN Sword 3 accessory set. Uh, that is uh, supposed to go with the Metal Build 00 Gundam 7 Sword figure, which I do have. And I uh, showed you guys briefly several months ago. Uh, now, I didn't review that figure like I originally intended to because I learned shortly around that time of making that video where I showed you guys the figure, I learned about this accessory set and I decided to hold off on reviewing it until I received this so I could review both the, the normal figure and this accessory set uh, in a series of videos. But yeah, it looks really good. As usual with Bandai quality, it's you know top notch. And hopefully it'll be worth the money because it is a, a, an exclusive item and therefore more expensive than normal. And already the normal Bandai products are usually quite expensive. Plus, unless you're a resident of Japan, you can't order it directly from, from in this case, from Bandai. Or the, I think it was a Tamashi web exclusive, so you had to order it through, I think, uh, the Tamashi uh, web store. But yeah, unless you had like a mailing address in Japan, you basically couldn't order it uh, because... It, it's not sold to, to non-residents of the country. So if you're someone like me who lives outside of Japan, you will, you're going to have to go through either eBay or a, a middleman service, which I went through in order to uh, acquire this product for you. Uh, so basically, that's just a look at the uh, few items I received today in the mail, which was a, a pleasant surprise uh, after getting home. And uh, I did actually have one more thing too, which uh, I believe was... A package that I had to sign for so I wasn't present at the time of the delivery so I had a, a little slip there to let me know to pick it up at the post office later today so I'm gonna go pick that up and perhaps I'll upload a video uh, just showing you guys that whatever I received there uh, but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this little brief sneak peek at things to come in the future for my review videos as usual I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time